Tonight's weather is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, proudly serving Southside for 20 years. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Good evening to you, everybody, and we're glad that you're continuing to watch BTW 21 News. Dustin Staples here at the Weather Wall, as promised with you. Uh, we're letting Luis uh, get back in the hot seat, but I'll see you back tomorrow there in the anchor desk. We hope you've enjoyed your day so far. We saw some storms on our Monday, and today we are continuing to see that summer-like pattern that just doesn't want to budge anytime soon. So we're going to talk about uh, maybe a little bit of relief coming up the weekend. As for making your plans for the rest of the afternoon going into this evening, get ready to see a lot of those clear skies coming into play this evening. Again, a stray shower possible here and there, but other than that, things are going to remain quite mild and warm later on this evening. Our temperatures are going to be staying in the 70s later on this evening with a mix of fair weather clouds. And take a look at some area wide temperatures for tonight as you get ready to do some things later on. Maybe do some bonfire activities, maybe do uh, some cookouts even. Just do know you have to kind of batter the uh, storms if you do get under one of those later on today in this evening hours. Temperatures tonight though are getting up in the mid to low 60s out there. Again, that stray shower storm is possible, but other than that, things are going to remain very warm and muggy later on tonight. So just keep all that in mind as you're making your plans. Again, 69, 70, 71. We'll range from those lows. Make your way out towards your Wednesday hump day middle of the week forecast. Get ready to see some isolated thunderstorms out there. Temperatures again up in the low to mid 80s out there near 90 once more. Your lows near 7 as you're probably thinking has the graphics really changed in the last couple of days? The answer is no because we've been stuck in the same pattern for quite a while now as our temperatures are well average to say the least as we do begin the month of August. You kind of see that coming in with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. So making some plans for the weekend. If you're thinking about doing any outdoor activities, do note, look at this. This is gorgeous out here seeing a lot of that sunny skies can be good to play right there as our temperatures are going to be in the mid uh, to upper low to 80s to say the least. So if you're making any plans for the weekend out there, just do know that the sun is going to be shining. Do remember to keep that sunblock with you on standby as the uh, temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 80s for Saturday here. You kind of see that coming into play and again on our Sunday. Also, our temperatures are going to be forecasting a mix of sun and clouds, a high of 81. So things of that note, if you're making those plans, uh, get out there and do enjoy them because we're going to begin to see a lot of that cool air quickly, slowly come to an end, unfortunately. So for those who want that nice cool air that's sticking around, it's not going to be hanging around much longer just because the fact that we have that coarse summertime pattern coming into place too. So mostly sunny skies on Saturday with a mix of sun and clouds for our Sunday. So a beautiful afternoon is in the making for those days. Let's talk about a little bit of a different transition phase here. I know we talked about this already once, but it's the um, thunderstorm activity and you kind of see here that we've had quite a lot of lightning concerns over the last almost uh, this year alone to say the least and kind of the death toll reported from this. We have total 12 out of this year. We've got almost you see there Alabama, California, uh, Florida, Kentucky, North Carolina, Ohio and Wyoming reported of one lightning death fatality and the, concern, the th interesting thing about this you kind of see up there there is a 10 to uh, 2 difference there 10 of those being uh, men and two females right there. Georgia coming in at second place at number two and you've probably been hearing about this one on the national level. Washington DC had it this past week as you know had some storms that moved through and unfortunately killing an elderly couple who was celebrating their anniversary uh, there and a young man in their 20s. So other than that uh, lightning we always tell you to get indoors when you do see lightning strikes out there and about and obviously these numbers hopefully they don't climb higher than what they need to be right now because we are now in the midst 
of uh, beginning to slowly say farewell to our summertime pattern. As, as you know, we may begin to see these thunderstorms linger into the fall months. And as a lot of you know that we also see uh, tropical activity, which is our next topic of discussion here. These are the names. I'm not going to read them all for you here. The ones in yellow, you kind of see this highlighted Alex, Bonnie and Colin and Daniela. We're going to keep a close eye on the tropics right now because there is a potential that we may have another disturbance coming off the coast of Africa. You've been hearing a lot about this, that Saharan dust that kind of just alludes off of the western uh, Sahara and it just pushes right in the Atlantic Ocean and doesn't give much of it a chance to cause any development thanks to it being so dry as the water is uh, cooler and now that our water temperatures are beginning to get warmer again as we're slowly wrapping up the upcoming season. So other than that, I uh, just do know we may have Daniela, then Earl, Fiona, Gaston, those um, names will be further on down in the list to say. So just keep that in mind if you are making your travel plans. And we talked about this also last week. An average season begins with 14 names by the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA for short. We don't, we're not going to call that out because that's just a word of mouth there. Average 14 names, hurricanes at seven. Again, category three storms or more or three uh, right now. And as you see here on this next one here, you talked about those averages because things have changed in a lot of times and so a typical average season you kind of see here this was updated as the 4th of August so just a few weeks ago or a few days ago they produced the amount of storm names locally from 14 to 21 now to 14 to 20 you kind of see that resembles what we've got here forecasted from NOAA story canes were 6 to 10 and now uh, originally forecasting 7 so they came down a little bit on that and again the category 5 uh, 3 or, or more winds you kind of see there didn't really budge as much uh, 3 to 5 they did lower that just a tad bit there, but either way, we are still have a long way to go on the hurricane list because these storms could possibly pack a punch in some of our hometowns. And obviously the difference between a hurricane and a tropical storm is that we get winds over 74 miles or greater. That is a tropical storm. Our winds obviously greater than that. Um, excuse me, anywhere between 35 and 73 uh, miles per hour is considered a tropical storm and those other st hurricanes are anything greater than a 74 uh, mile or higher is considered what uh, we call cat one, two, three, four storms. And then of course the, the dangerous storms can go up to wind speeds of 160 uh, plus miles an hour. So again, we've been very thankful that the tropics have been pretty consistently quiet and we need to hopefully stay like that. But now we are in the midst of peak season. We got to pay close attention to those disturbances because they will possibly have a surprise up their sleeve if we don't watch it. So other than that, Time for me to say farewell to you. I'll catch you back at the anchor desk on tomorrow on our Wednesday newscast. Until then, stay tuned. We have a lot more great local programming coming up after this. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zipmeyer Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mount Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555.